Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black version. In the last episode, we did cover some stuff after we met the initial Team Plasma people here, but uh, as you could see, we are now teaming up with N, who is uh, helping us search for Team Plasma. We met N in a previous episode, and um, yeah, now he's like, let's go on the Ferris wheel, I guess. So now we're going to go on the Ferris wheel. Look at us. We're on a, a cute little Pokemon date, I guess. Oh, he's, he's, he's the king of Team Plasma. Okay. Who would have guessed that? The guy introduced to you where his name is just one letter is the bad guy. This is so unbelievable and I'm taken aback by it. Oh. No, in all honesty, I kind of kind of knew that that was going to happen. Um, is it a big deal? Does it take away from the story? Absolutely not. I don't think it's like huge, like groundbreaking, like that was supposed to be the most hidden thing from you. But now, N is going to make his grave escape. And while he does that, we are going to have to battle two Team Plasma grunts here. So that way he can get away. Because I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to join you, man. I really, like, I always want to say yes in those instances just to see what'll happen, but, um, you know, it's always the same outcome. But first, we're actually going to battle N. I might make that, like, the logo for the episode. But, um, yeah, he's sending out Sandile, or whatever his name is. I feel like I actually got it right there. Is he Sandile? Did I get that right? I feel like I did. This is a good opportunity to get Sweet Tart from EXP. And uh, if you didn't happen to tune into the last episode, we've had some major team changes here in the recent episodes. I feel like our team is like in a very, very solid state now. We definitely have some weaknesses, but I feel like as a whole, like our team is like really good overall. Um, I think with level ups especially, like the team is only going to become better and better. So uh, that being said, it should be a really cool team once it's all said and done here. What does this do? Yeah, I'm not going to learn Uproar. Yeah, give up on Uproar. I just don't see it as a useful move there. Um, who is this guy? I think this is the fire guy. Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna switch in uh, good old Starburst, so that way he could get some EXP here, but... Yeah, it was the fire guy. Um, nothing here is really gonna be all that useful. We could go for Psybeam. Why not? It's useful enough, and he's not gonna have anything that's gonna be very, very effective against us, so... We might as well just wipe him here. Like I said, he's not going to be critically effective. I'm sure in future iterations when he evolves, he's going to be good, but uh, this is the fighting type. So now we're actually going to get to see... Oh, he's fighting Dark, if I recall correctly, actually. Yeah, so it's not going to affect him, and he's going to be able to knock us out here. Overlooked that. Um, Gusher might be a good move here. We haven't- I don't think we battled with Gusher so far, but when we got Gusher, he was luckily given to us at level 25. Which is, uh, pretty good. And I forgot there that, uh, the flying type is gonna be super effective against him because he's the fighting type. Probably because I just saw that, um, Psychic wasn't effective, so I probably just think he's dark right now and not using Pluck, even though Pluck is definitely the better move, I think, here. At least from what I remember, I'm pretty sure he's fighting Dark. This hopefully will remind me, but it might be enough to take him down. No, it's not. Man, are you kidding me? Okay, Dig is still good. At least he can't do damage to me. This is like one of those things in retrospect, right? But like I'm looking at it, I'm like, average Joe. What are you doing, my boy? Oh, so he has one of these psychic guys too. 
I think Gusher actually might be good to leave in here. Oh, Cookies and Cream is a good choice too. Yeah, he should have enough. Gotta remember Average Joe, he's got the flying type in here. So even Ancient Power is gonna be very useful. Yeah, I think I would keep Gusher in, honestly. Use Ancient Power, yep, that's gonna be very damaging. Oh, he uses Whirlwind, who is he bringing out? Okay, I mean, Sweetheart could use the EXP. I don't think he has anything that's going to help. No, he's gonna knock out Sweetheart. Damn it! Why'd you have to knock out my little Sweetheart like that, man? Come on now. Cookies and Cream could use the EXP, though, so it's good. We'll get a share there. And, yeah, that might be enough. Did I just stupidly select Thunder Wave? I keep doing that. Oh, wow. He knocked me out. I keep forgetting that this guy's stats are actually pretty good, that's why I added him to the damn team. Let's see what this does to Gusher. Yeah, this could be bad. Let's try Dove. Why not? I think a Red Hot is going to take this one away, but uh... You know, we might as well try all the team members. Okay. Go for a quick attack here, at least get some damage in before he knocks us out. Could have got a critical hit, you never know. Tough could have reaped the rewards there. But this is where it actually gets scary, because Red Hot is partial fighting type. So if we don't move first, he can actually take us down here. Right, this might bring us down to the red health. Yeah. That was scary to bank on. I will say, in retrospect, probably not the best decision I've made on this Let's Play. Probably not the worst, but it's up there for the worst, I'm sure. Looks like it's Red Hot up to level 24. So get a nice little level up there. And to be fair, and actually did take a good chunk of our team down, so it's not like he was a bad opponent to go up against. I guess I'm just a little cheesy that like, oh, I'm the leader. I'm the king. Just like, oh. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> you know, being as that the actual guy who looks like a king does a much better job of acting like a king and the people seem to follow him. Whereas, like, in this instance, we just had, like, two grunts that seem to follow that guy. Excuse me. And there, here, we skip around. I think this is, um the football coliseum so there's like a football coliseum there's a basketball coliseum there's a couple little areas here i just wanted to show briefly what one of them looked like because uh they, you know they're cool we haven't had additions like this i think i just leave in like this initial part here because there's like one trainer per coliseum if there's one thing i could give this area and I, um, I just replied to a comment about it. They asked, like, how are these gyms compared to, like, previous gyms in other Pokemon games? I feel very underleveled when I go into gyms. Or I feel like I just, I don't have, like, a strategic advantage outside of, like, typing and things like that. Like, working my team around them. It would be very, very cool if, like, these Colosseum sections and, like, areas like that had... Like, every person who's visible on the screen had, like, at least one Pokemon that they would battle you with. Doesn't need to be much, but it, it would just be, like, enough, I feel like, that, like, it would give our team, like, an extra th two points, two levels per team member, which I think would make all the world of difference here. Especially for the upcoming gym, because you're going to see I, I have some struggles. I have some struggles getting through it. It's going to be a longer episode, ladies and gentlemen. He actually took out Sweet Tart. That little fireball him. Kind of stinks because I feel like Sweetheart is like... So, for those that aren't aware, Sweetheart's first, like, starter stage here is a water type. When he evolves, he'll be water and ground, which is where we get the real benefit out of Sweetheart, right? Because then he completely resists electric type attacks. 
which is amazing. Now, it does come with the disadvantage of being four times weak to grass type Pokemon, but as we saw with Airhead. From what I've seen, Miss Soda Pop there, they're not so great in this generation. At least from what I've seen so far. So, like, having. being completely untouchable by electric types is going to be very pivotal for our team, because otherwise we don't really have an answer. And I highly doubt we'll have one by the end of this Let's Play. I mean, Gusher's pretty good, but he's he's still got the flying type associated with him. But I mean, he's he looks too cool to not have on the team. Let's be real. I don't mind having dual flyers in this generation. I might even have tri-flyers like we have now, because I think the only other person I would even consider removing from the team at this point would be Dove, and I would replace it with a Dragon-type Pokemon when one becomes available, but um, that would probably be the only change I could first see at this point in time. But um, yeah, I'm willing to have some weak points on the team if it means that, uh, you know, the rest of the team looks cool, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. And here I actually had to uh, use my PC mouse to do this part here. Um, they just want you to dress up a Pokemon to see how it looks. It's, it's nothing very eventful. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you appreciate this episode. If you did like it, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff is greatly motivational for myself and continue to make videos just like this now and in the near future. We'll be playing this series here, Pokemon Black, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll be playing Mario vs. Donkey Kong on Sundays. And we'll be playing Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Sega on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'll give you back... Um, two minutes of time here. There is a really emotional moment with Bianca and her father not respecting her being a trainer, but um, yeah, I think I've seen enough when I've seen uh, our good old cookies and cream dressed up with like a layu or whatever those things are called, along with a, a pair of sunglasses. Something doesn't sit right, so yeah, you could enjoy like the last two minutes of this without my voiceover, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you appreciate this episode and we hope to see you back here again. Till then, as always, peace out, Girl Scout. Thank <laughs> you.